Welcome back guys to EU4 as Manchu and we're currently at war with Japan. Now obviously that was not planned. I basically declared this war on the, one of the daimos while they were at war with the emperor. And uh, yeah, now I I was too greedy. I didn't I didn't uh, peace out when I was uh, when I had the chance and now I'm going to have to well continue this war a little bit longer because we need to stay at war in order to uh, be able to loot some stuff so that we keep our horde unity over or uh, above 50 which is important and uh, as soon as our truce runs out we might actually uh, declare this war when is it uh, it's another two years so we're gonna have to well I, I guess another year we're gonna have to stay in this war at least for another year so that's kind of important now problem is I cannot actually I don't think I can move here can I oh I can okay maybe we can destroy this army so let's try doing that and we'll come uh, yeah we'll, we'll get right back um, so we'll destroy at least 2,000 men that- ooh, maybe it's a bit much. We get a crossing penalty. Damn it. Now there's not much we can do. Alright, fine, well, well, we'll send them in then, I guess. There's not much else I can do. Ooh, this is looking bad. Looking bad indeed. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Um, but perhaps we are still winning this? Oh, actually, we're winning this battle, perhaps. The problem is they're sending in all of their men. Shit. Um, we're at 22%, but they're unlikely to be able to... Pe yeah, they, they don't want to peace out right now because of length of war. Um, now, ugh, damn it. We could win this. Ah, uh, shoot. But they're reinforcing probably too quick before... Yeah, damn it. They reinforced. Ah, <sighs> fine. We're gonna have to retreat. We're gonna have to retreat. This is three war score gone right there. So let's, let's just meet, uh, meet up there and see if we can peace them out. Yeah, I, I was hoping we might be able to get out of this without having to pay anything. Uh, Japan will become a vassal of... Oh, wow, I could vassalize Japan. I could vassalize Japan. That would be really cool. But yeah, it does not seem like we're winning, actually. The problem is we have more troops. We actually have enough troops, but we can't get them over due to the fact that they have so many ships. Uh, if I had everyone in this army, we would have probably crushed them. Let's get them back, and then we'll see what we do. Because... Um, you know, we definitely have a stronger army than, than they do. Lose Diplo power. I'd rather lose the prestige, honestly. Even though that hurts too. Just not as bad. Okay, let's go here. Just so we have our army meet up. Uh, perhaps we can kill... Ah, they're in hills. That's the problem. That's the problem. If they wouldn't be in hills, we would actually have a great chance. Uh, let's get our troops together. And at the very least, let's, uh, let's loot some stuff. We haven't looted all of this yet, yeah. So there's still plenty of things that we can loot. Um, let's go here to the farmlands and see what happens. I basically just want to stay at war for as long as we can and uh, see if we can peace out for nothing here. 30. So they would, they would, they would immediately take this. They would immediately take concede defeat. Hmm. Still not too interested in doing that though. Still not too interested. I'm, 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 I'm going to be playing risky here, I think. Um, I think we can wait until they either make their move or until they go ahead and siege. So, okay, so they're making the move now, so I think it's time. Um, but now they probably won't accept this anymore. Okay, they will still accept this. Alright, I think we're just gonna have to go with this because there's no way I'm gonna actually win this. Even though this is in farmlands. 9,000 men against 13,000, but I'm not gonna be able to get them in there in time. When are they gonna arrive? Let me quickly see when they will arrive. They will arrive on March 12th. Yeah. Okay. So I think no, we have to peace out. There's no, there's no point in continuing this. All right. Fine. All right. Peace out. Let's save our men at the very least. Okay. This was not uh, what I wanted, but at the very least, we have got our horde unity somewhat. Uh, we we kept our horde unity up somewhat. So yeah, it's not a complete failure. But obviously, it would have been much better if I would have just peaced out right there when we uh we could. Because we had the chance to uh, peace out Shiba. Anyways, I'm pretty sure if you will have a look at this setup, Shiba is extremely strong, Usagi looks strong, Japan is not that strong, so I think that there's going to be another war that we will be able to uh, fight at some point. But yeah, let's get our... Um, let's cut you in half, send some of you there, I guess, one of you as well. There you go. Have four people on that boat. And uh, luckily, we didn't have any uprisings at that time. Now, Ming is kind of scary. They have declared the war on Yarkand now. So, I mean, I'm basically just hoping that they either overextend themselves or, I don't know, that they will they will just 
kill themselves. I don't know. Uh, as long as they don't declare war on me, I guess I don't mind. But still, it is a little bit scary. Um, okay, so we have our claims here. Yeren, I should probably get a new claim on you. Um, since we have enough spy network. Yep. Okay, so this is the only claim I can get. That's fine enough. We'll take that. Um, so I'm going to go to war with you next. I'm definitely going to have to take over this province. Because then we will be able to border Buratia. Um, which is important so that we can actually continue. You guys go over here. It's just going to make it easier to pick you up. And see how many men do we have. How many? Eight. Okay, that works fine. So we can split you in half. And you should be able to pick them all up. Oh, right. Well, go here then. That's fine. Actually, go here. Um, just move like that. I think that will be the best. And you, I guess, we can combine. Awesome. All right, move here. Just to the capital. We have diplomats lying around. I don't really know what I want to do with them. You are still allied to Oira. That's something I really don't like because that means I won't be able to fight you. I guess what I could do... I wonder if I have enough uh, favors with Oirad so that I could call them into Yer in the, the war with Yeren. They're at war with Chagatai still. Why not always at war with Chagatai? Um, hmm. That is very strange. They were... Oh, no, they were at war with Uzbek before, I, I remember. Yeah, so it's just... Well, it's the Timurids as well. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's fine. Uh, I just don't know what I have to... Well, what, what I should do with my diplomats. I guess we'll go ahead and prove some more relations. I mean, keep them high with Ming, as high as possible, just so that they never decide to attack us. And Korea, I mean, there's no real point to do anything with Korea, really. We have all of the claims we can get. I guess I could go ahead and spy some more on Oirat, just so that we can uh, fabricate some more claims on Mongolia. But yeah, other than that, see no point. Okay, you get over here. Okay, we're losing money, that's bad. Um... It's not due to reinforcing, it's basically just because it's so expensive. Our manpower needs to recover, and our prestige should be at 50. I would like both of this, actually, but I think we're going to go with the manpower thing first. We'll see how that goes. Now, um, do we have unbalanced research yet? No, we have not, so I could go ahead and leave our technology as it is right now. I do want to get at least another 5% bonus here. You have arrived. Let's make your way here. So that we can get our troops over quickly. Alright. So, yeah. Basically, now we're just going to wait another, what, year? Until this... Uh, yeah, another year. June. June uh, 65 is when we're going to be uh, able to declare war. Come on. And I guess I'll get my troops on the border already. Even though, I guess we... Don't need to rush necessarily, but yeah, let's do it anyways. Um, you go here. No, you go here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just collapse on them like that. That's fine. 16,000 16, men. Is that all? Yeah. Now, someone was actually telling me that these events that I had a look at later, uh, earlier, I should say, that they um, will give me troops when I'm at war, either with Ming or someone else. So, ruler needs to be a general, have the eight banners... Well, how do I get the eight banners? I don't get it. Okay. Um, create the green standard. For this, I would need to be at war with Ming. For this, I need to have the eight banners. I don't know how I get the eight banners. This seems a little bit strange. But I will get basically free troops. Now, this is a little bit different. This actually takes the manpower from Ming, which is kind of cool. Um, it takes Ming's manpower to give me troops. So that's going to help us out if we ever fight them, which, no, we will fight them at some point, I know, I know, but, uh, um, and this, uh, but this will also create serious negative tensions here, um, and this is just basically whenever we're at war. I wonder if we have to take the green standard army first before we can do the other one, but I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. We do need to make our ruler into a general. I've just not wanting to do this. I wanted at least to have one succession that actually works out. So I was hoping that this guy could... He's already 25, but still, if he lives on, I don't know, another 10 years, which is very unlikely for a Khan, but then uh, this guy might actually have a chance of becoming of age or coming of age. So we could actually uh, get his 5 admin skill, which is so good compared to his 2. I definitely want to have that. Um, how many more points can we store up? We can store up to one... 1700, okay, 1700. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll wait for that. I do want to get another 5% bonus.
bonus here because I want to immediately click through to, um, I guess, attack five, so I can start the, uh, so that I can start uh, colonizing some stuff. That'd be really good, or at the very least, you know, uh, exploring things. That would be helpful as well. All right, so you, I think I'm gonna send onto my furthest. My, my port that's furthest away, because that's going to make sure that no one's actually going to attack us. At least I think. Um, obviously, only time will tell. But yeah, only a couple more months are left, and then we'll be able to declare this war on Yaren. Uh, you have not allied anyone yet. Good. Awesome. I wouldn't want you to. Hopefully, uh, Oirat is done with their war by the time. Probably, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Damn it, because that was kind of what I was hoping, to call him into the war with Yaren. I guess what I could do is call him into the war against Bur Buryatia. That would work. And while we're in a war together, I could declare war on Korchin and take them over. But obviously, that's not exactly what I wanted. We need to make sure that our power projection stays high enough. Have I insulted one of my rivals yet? Um, I embargo in Korea. If I, could Im if I could insult them again, that would be great. But, um, let's see, you are done, so let's see if we can insult Korea again. Send insult? No, we cannot. We cannot. Do I have any other rivals? Only Oirat, yeah. Ah, damn it. No one else. Hmm. Okay, so it wouldn't even give me power projection if I declare war on Yaren. Damn it. So it's only this guy. What if I declare war on you now? Has the warning... No, Ming has still warned us. Damn it. If they ever stop that, we could actually go and take over Korea. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. Alright, so when does this uh, truce run out? It's uh, June... June, okay. April, May, June. I think. I'm just gonna have to keep a close eye on Japan. I hope that they break out into a civil war again. You ally to Takeda. Okay, so there goes our truce, which means, yeah, we can declare the war and let's do that right away. No one's gonna join us, that's fine. I want, now, do I want tribal feud? Less aggressive expansion, uh, 100 prestige, 100 cost. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna go with this tribal conquest of Baguizin. Actually, you know what, we're gonna go with... Kir Kirenga, because that's probably going to take the longest to take over, and I want to stay in this war a little bit. Yeah, alright, so we'll do that. Um, confirm. Yes, alright. So, uh, let's send our men in. I don't really think that we're going to have to face, that, that we will face a uh, huge opposition here, but we'll, we'll see, I guess. Uh, yeah, obviously, we failed our mission, but no, oh, well. Uh, Unite the Manchu tribes have... Andong. Now, this is part of China, but yeah, we probably will get enough prestige here, at least I hope so, so let's make that our mission. <sighs> we definitely, yeah, prestige definitely tank. We were at 80 or something like this, I think. Um, I hold you is also very close to uh, going below 50. Alright, so move forward. Let me see where your troops are at. I know you have some. You must have some. Actually, has quite a lot. 9,000. That's actually not that few. It's actually more than I expected. Um, okay, so... But he... And he has a pretty... Wow, he's a 5 shock general. Holy shit. Alright, so I think we're just going to stay in the steps. Um, let's... Yeah, let's get our troops here. Let's stay in the steps and see what he does. Um, we are obviously going to take some attrition here, but I think we'll be able to deal with that. I was maybe thinking about getting an advisor here. Morale of army or discipline? I think morale is going to be more important. Even though we don't really have the money, I still got to hire this guy. At least for now. Just for now. Uh, because I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen. Although, actually, no. I shouldn't be worried. Ah, fine. Now I just wasted some money. But we are making money at the moment. With all the spoils of war, so that's good. Uh, you can still loot here. Oh, wow. You've already looted everything. That's crazy. That's crazy fast. How did he loot that so fast? That is that is crazy indeed. Alright, we're gonna move forward. And then we'll, uh, I guess, advance into this. No, I don't want to attack him. Don't want to attack him necessarily. Come on. I guess we could leave... I guess I could leave Yeren alive. But I don't really see the benefit in doing so. 
So I don't think I will. Okay, we could actually raise a new host. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but we it, it's good to know that we could. It's good to know... Actually, no. Contribute warriors? We... Oh, they, we, they need more loyalty. We could easily do that by supporting the tribes, but I don't think we need that at the moment. So yeah, I, I will not do that. I will not do that for now. Okay, Korea. Fine, whatever. You are doing stuff. Send you over here. And, oh wow, he's actually going into the wasteland. Alright, fine. Okay, this is already... Already looted. Why is this looting so fast? I don't really know. But yeah, I'm not complaining, obviously. Huh. I just want to take as 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 few casualties here as possible. Okay, but it definitely helping out a horde unit, as you can see. And we'll be able... Actually, you know what? If I take over all of this stuff, we'll be able to raise it, which is going to increase our horde unity as well. And that should be good enough. He is arriving over here. You know what? Fine. I don't know what he's up to. We'll just, we'll just let him do that, I guess. I do need to be careful that I don't... Uh, end up with too many or oh, yeah that I don't end up with too many points here uh, let's see what is our still only 5% neighbor bonus yeah it's probably not gonna tick up I wish though it would okay let's split you in half go here and yeah wow this is a gold province Ooh, this will help us out quite a bit this will help us out quite a bit indeed nice so yeah I think um, oh he's even fighting some uh, natives here that's cool I basically just really want to get my exploration as quickly as possible so we can go ahead and send out some ships. Actually, what I should probably do is start building some light ships because without light ships, we won't be able to uh, explore. So let's build these light ships now. It's going to take a year for them to build. Um, so yeah, let's build this here instead. It's going to be it's, yeah, it's going to take a year for them to build. But once they're built, we'll be able to recruit an admiral. Uh, we could rush to how how many ideas if uh, well I do need to think about also taking the taking the diplomatic tack but if the tack costs what a thousand we could go through maybe one idea which is let me see which, what that would be just a colonist hmm but then the second, okay, so ideally I want to get out the first two ideas as quickly as possible. And then we'll do the rest. Oh, we're being attacked here. Totally did not notice. Send in our forces. Can we get a leader in here? Yes. Alright, get him in here. Three shock at the very least. I don't know how much... Yeah, we have more maneuver than this guy, so he should at the very least take some crossing penalty. We'll be fighting in steps, so that's good. And we've just been kicked out of... Or our spy network has been, or our spy has been kicked out of this. Alright, come on, hold on, hold on. I hope that we're gonna be able, okay, we just reinforced, awesome. So, we are both getting a shock damage, very good. He just rolled a 9 and I rolled a 0. What the hell is this? Every fucking time I roll 0, they roll a 9. Anyway, uh, bribes growing more acceptable, so I just gained corruption for no fucking reason. Great. Um, but yeah, I'll take that. So he has no nowhere to run. So wherever he goes, we'll be able to smash him. I think that's exactly what we're, going, what we're going to do. And yeah, just give me that. He actually, we lost 6,000 men, which is, which is just as much as, just as many as he, no, he lost, he lost 5,000. We lost more men. What? That doesn't really make any sense, but I guess it's because he rolled a fucking nine. Okay, so this guy's going to go in Hulun beer. So we'll, we'll uh, roast him there. Um, and we can still loot some of these provinces. Everything else has been taken over. Good. Okay, so we'll crush his army and then we'll uh, finish looting this and obviously finish sieging this. Um, awesome. Very nice. Now, I wonder if there's ever a point in time where I can call in Oirat. Yeah, probably not. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be against Buratia where we call them in. So we're gonna have to wait before we declare one Buratia uh, until uh, Oirat is ready to join us. And then I can call them in and uh, yeah, get a declare, declare war on Ko Chin while they're busy uh, helping me in this in this war. Okay, so let's uh, get our troops over there, and I think that will be it for this episode, guys. So yeah, I've uh, pulled that of this war with Japan, simply because it, it was not really, or it, I guess it was winnable, but there was no point in doing it. So yeah, it, basically the whole point was to keep my horde unity above 50, which we did, and now it's going to be very good once we uh, 
well, once we uh, yeah, take over all of these provinces and raise them. But yeah, this will be next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.